Finally today, we meet up with two musicians whose Spoleto project has drawn inspiration from the Low Country and spun it into a musical tribute. Pianist Renata Rolfing and bassist Edward Cass share more on Tell Your Story. In creating this project, what Renata and I were really interested in doing was finding a way to take all the, the musicians and artists who come to Charleston for Spoleto, many of whom, like us, come year after year, uh, to find a way to make us better connect with the city that makes it possible, the city and community that makes it possible for us to have this festival. Because it's, it's one thing for us to come and spend our time in downtown, but it's another thing to really look at what makes this setting, what makes Charleston and the Sea Islands have a community that's able to support something like this. Mm -hmm. So I think it was really important for us to find a way to connect with, with that community, especially after two years where the festival didn't really happen the way we liked it. I know, it's true. And this is something that we were kind of talking about before we got started, is that when you're living here, when you're in it every single day, you can't necessarily see the forest for the trees. And so you come in with a fresh set of eyes and you see the world in a far different way. So what, what are some of the impressions? I think that we um, also want to really hear the histories and the memories and the stories of the people who live here and use that musically as well to amplify the, the people who have, who have lived here much longer than we have. Yes, yeah. so, so through Tell Your Story, so, so how does that work exactly and who are some of the communities, which are some of the communities that you've touched? Through Letitia Smith, our community engagement coordinator, um, she paired us with Our Lady of Mercy Community Outreach, and they helped us to find three community members um, from the Sea Islands, various parts of the Sea Islands, and the orchestral musicians um, met with each of them and recorded interviews and asked them about their lives and their families, and so um, these three members of the community shared their stories with these musicians and now they're creating sound pieces out of their voices. That is a unique and profound idea. I think that is such a wonderful way to honor the people yeah. of the Low Country. Yeah. And, and it goes back to what Mina was saying in terms of having that outreach to have those tentacles that go out into the community and really to make art a part of everyone's life and everyone a part of the art. And a lot of the history of the three members that we've talked to is very musical and artistic as well. And so they have a lot of creative practice in their own lives. And so they were able to share that with the musicians. It's a natural, and fit. It's a and natural fit. Yeah. And one of the things, part of the reason we describe it as community engagement is the music that is, is part of the lives of these communities and part of what the partners who have been involved in this project have in their in their lives and daily routines, the music is, is there. It's already there and yeah. it's not, we don't need to come in and give them music. Right. Part of it is, is finding their connection to music, understanding what music means to them, how it's been part of their lives and their, their families' lives, and finding ways that we, as visiting musicians, can understand the role of mu music in this community and how, how we can engage with that, how we can amplify those those stories and musical connections and use that to, for us, there was a lot of like learning about the history of like, of John's Island and Wadmalen, yeah, yeah. where these, these communities are and finding out. And then taking that yeah. with you. So yeah, exactly. when, when Spoleto is all over, then you go back home and then those lingering memories and impressions mm -hmm. could very well impact the next piece that you compose yeah. or the next piece that you play. Absolutely. And, and these connections are very meaningful and deep and now um, the musicians know the members of the community, they have known them now for a couple of months and will continue the relationship right. throughout the year. Yeah. As, as they um, say here, yeah. you are now family. <laughs> Yeah. So I, I want to thank you so much for sharing that with us. And, uh, you know, for anybody who's interested in, in checking out all the different performances, there are so many of them, by the way, just go to the website. We're going to give all the information, come out and see yeah. the performances. Thank you so much. Thank really you. appreciate your time. Thank We're you. We're back in two minutes.